this was the first forced deportation of a Tamil refugee in a couple of years. We had the disastrous situation of a Tamil refugee being plucked out of a detention centre and put on a Thai Airways plane to Sri Lanka. Uh, my name's Jeremy. I'm a family member of Mr X, the young man who's been detained at Maribyrnong at the moment. We're all here, and especially family members are here today to protest the, the incredible injustice that's being served. Pulled out of the Australian community and taken into immigration detention. Been selected for deportation back to Sri Lanka. It's a place where he will almost certainly suffer and be discriminated against as a Sri Lankan Tamil. He has compelling claims of former torture at the hands of the Sri Lankan authorities. So this man was then whisked off on the plane, sent to Sri Lanka, and the Australian officials accompanying him, instead of giving him over to his family. They handed him over to the intelligence of the Sri Lankan police. There's evidence of torture in this, uh, in this young man. He's suffered a lot of psychological damage. The best counsellors in Australia have described as post-traumatic symptoms a direct result of torture on him. The police interrogated him for 16 hours without any legal representation. This is a situation in which persecution, abduction, indefinite detention is a reality. From 2001 to 2004, Mr X was detained within Sri Lanka by the Sri Lankan authorities. The refugee activists believe that he was uh, forced or threatened in that interrogation to agree to doing a press conference on behalf of the Sri Lankan government after being released. The content of that uh, press conference was to recant everything, to recant the fact that he'd been tortured prior to seeking asylum in Australia. And there is evidence of torture, there is evidence of psychological and physical damage that has been imparted onto this individual. He said that Sri Lanka was a safe place for Tamils since the LTT had been crushed. He said there's no reason for Tamils to seek asylum. He has a broken back because of the effects of a beating on him while he was detained in Sri Lanka. Those comments are no different to the situation where a hostage is put for a camera by the uh, kidnappers and instructed to make certain statements or else. So we believe they were made under duress and we believe that he is terrified of um, torture again in Sri Lanka. And it is the responsibility of the Australian government to make sure he stays here in this country, in the security of Australia. What the refugee movement here is calling on is for the Australian government to intervene um, call on the Sri Lankan government to allow this man to be returned immediately to Australia with safe passage and with a guarantee of resettlement.